I'm Mark Fletcher, Chief Architect for Worldwide Public Safety Solutions at Avaya, and I'd like to thank everyone for attending this webinar today on this important topic. In his first speech as FCC Commissioner, Ajit Pai said, When consumers dial 911, they need to reach emergency personnel. It shouldn't matter whether they are using the public switch telephone network, a VoIP application, or a wireless phone. On January 13th of this year, in a press release regarding the December 13th tragedy in Marshall, Texas, he added, Neither should it matter whether they are using a phone at a hotel, motel, or office building. Do I have an Avaya PBX telephone system? It's quite possible that you do, and here are some of the more popular phones that are deployed in the field. The current Avaya portfolio contains systems manufactured under the Avaya, Lucent Technologies, Nortel, and Northern Telecom brand names. All of these companies have now merged under the single brand name of Avaya. Avaya sells equipment through a nationwide network of independent distributors and dealers. Most likely, you have a service contract for your system's maintenance with one of these providers. We also deal with some major hotel chains directly. If you're unsure or have any questions, you can visit support.avaya.com. From there, you can contact us through chat, by telephone, or even a Scopia video conference with a specialist that can assist you. When placing a service call to check or program emergency services, it's important to ask for the right work to be done. Don't assume that the service technician will understand the laws or your specific requirements. What you want provisioned in your system is simple. Access to 911 both with and without an access code. It should apply to all telephones in the property, with the exception of hotline or pre-programmed ringdown phones, which already have a dedicated destination. Be sure to ask for 911 Mistile Prevention, which looks for 911 plus additional digits. This is the most common mistile to 911. And while these calls will still alert local staff, they will not go to 911 and will eliminate many accidental calls. So what exactly is changing? This is a change in programming of what is called the dial plan and doesn't require any additional expensive hardware. Avaya has worked with several local distributors who have agreed to perform this change at no charge for properties with existing maintenance contracts. As it is our opinion, as well as FCC Public Safety and Homeland Security Bureau Chief David Simpsons, that if a 911 call doesn't work, it's a trouble ticket, and therefore covered under maintenance. In fact, he stated at the 911 Goes to Washington conference that he felt that it was a reason to fail fire inspection. As you probably have heard before, this change can be done remotely. However, remember to test and coordinate with your local 911 center before testing. On-site notification, also included as a base feature in Avaya platforms, notifies you when an emergency call is placed on the system. This is a critical piece to the total solution and lets you prepare for the pending arrival of public safety. So far, everything we've talked about is included in the base product line. For larger or complex properties, your needs may go beyond the basic built-in feature functionality. Optional alerting packages are available that can provide screen pops, emails, maps, and even access to IP video feeds, depending on your requirements. This slide is probably the most important of the entire presentation. It is applicable to all telephone systems, everywhere, even internationally. If you walk away with nothing else from this presentation, remember this information. 911 emergency calling is based on caller ID. In order to provide explicit station-level detail to the Public Safety Answer Position, or PSAP, each individual device requires a unique telephone number that has a unique public safety database record to contain the information. The fact of the matter is, most hospitality properties will not have individual telephone numbers assigned to each room. So because of that, room-level granularity is impossible. And this is why we do not advocate this in legislation. And where it exists, we educate the legislators so they can make the proper decisions. Establishing floor-level reporting only requires a unique telephone number for each floor. Or a single number can be transmitted for the entire property, and then enhanced by on-site notification when public safety arrives. 
You may have decided to answer your own emergency calls in the past. Be careful as this may significantly increase your liability. Emergency call takers receive special training that allows them to deal with emergencies over the phone. Every second that you spend on the phone with the caller is delaying the emergency response. And every action you take will be scrutinized by the local press. Avaya maintains a thought leadership position in global public safety, where members of the National Emergency Number Association hold a position on the NINA Institute Board, and our public safety specialists are emergency number professionals. We're also members of the European Emergency Number Association, where we hold the position of Vice Chair of the Next Generation 112 Committee. For the Association of Public Safety Communications Officials, we also sit on the APCO Standards Development Committee, defining standards for public safety, and we support the Next Gen 911 Institute. Thanks for watching this short webinar on public safety for hospitality properties. I'm Mark Fletcher, Chief Architect for Public Safety Solutions at Avaya. You can follow me on Twitter at Fletch911, and be sure to check out our weekly podcasts at avaya.com forward slash APN.